Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first video on my Zeke and Me channel. Um, so for a little bit of background, um, I have I have another YouTube channel um, that I'm not going to mention, <laughs> um, but it is completely unrelated um, about totally different topics. And um, I am pregnant um, with a baby boy that I have decided to name Ezekiel. Hence the name, Zeke and Me. Um, I am a single mom, so it's just me and baby. And um, I really wanted to make this channel to um, document my life with the baby and um, his growth and just really have something fun for both me and him to look back on um, and really see our experiences together. Um, so that's what this channel is about. If you like that and are into that, please feel free to subscribe. Um, for my very first video on this channel, I thought I would do my favorite video to watch, um, which is what's in my diaper bag videos. Um, this is sort of like a what's in my diaper bag slash hospital bag. Um, I am a first time mom, so, you know, feel free to guide and correct me in the comments. Um, to me, my bag is not excessive. To some people, this may be way overboard. I don't know. Um, but I do have two different diaper bags. So my main bag, and the one that I really plan on using the most, is um, by Skip Hop. It's this bag right here. And it is the main frame that has like the really nice wide opening. So this is the one that's all packed and ready to go. If I sound out of breath, I am so sorry. But again, I am, oh my god, did I say I'm 37 weeks? I'm 38 weeks pregnant. Um, so talking is a hassle at this point. But um, yeah, so this is the bag that I will be mainly using. Um, but I did also go ahead and get a Miss Fong bag, which looks like this right here. Definitely a little bit more purse-like. Um, but my reasoning for this one is it's much smaller than this bag. So... When we have quick outings and things like that and I don't want to lug this big thing around, I could just transfer my like necessities into here. Um, but yeah, so let me just start off by telling you a little bit about why I picked this bag. Um, so handles were one thing. Um, I have two sisters, both of which have two kids and one has a third on the way. And one of them swears by backpack straps. The other one hates backpack straps and swears by messenger bags. So when I was picking out a bag, I didn't know what I would like. Um, and I could totally understand, I could totally understand each one's reasoning for why they liked each strap. So I really wanted something that had um, both options or multiple carrying options. So this one does have these straps right here that you could um, use to carry the bag. It's also got the backpack straps, which I actually think I'm gonna use a lot, um, and stroller clips. The other reason why I really liked it is when you open this bag up, it opens really wide, so there's no like trying to move parts of the bag out of the way to see what you have inside. It's a nice clear shot. Um, so yeah, let me get started. Um, on the outside, there are tons of pockets, I don't have anything in these pockets yet. Now my intention for these pockets is um, this area right here to kind of be like my mommy pocket, things that I really need, my wallet, my phone, chapstick, so on and so forth. Um, and then these outer pockets will obviously be for bottles, whether that's baby's bottle or my water bottle. Um, but I will be breastfeeding for a while, so that's why those are empty and there's just no need to have anything in them right now. Out here I have my pacifier clip. Um, this is by Jujubee. I'm not sure what the pattern is, but I'll link it down below. Um, and this just has an extra pacifier in it. Um, and then inside the bag, so like I mentioned, this is my diaper bag slash hospital bag. So, um, you know, some of these items are strictly for the hospital. This one in particular. Um, right up top, I just have this really cute um, fuzzy blue blanket that was gifted to me at my shower. 
and um, this is specifically for the hospital just a blanket that I want um, you know to have with the baby next in here um, and you'll see I'm kind of like an overly organized person I'm sure that when I'm lugging around a newborn um, this isn't gonna stay this way but for now I'd like to keep it this way so I do have a lot of things in like separate little bags I um, mean I'd like to keep up with it as much as possible we'll see how realistic that actually is but the first thing I have is um, this changing pad now this bag actually did come with a changing pad um, but I tossed that or I shouldn't say I tossed that it sounds like I threw it out I got rid of it um, and I'm keeping it in um, a bedroom to use um, where I don't have a changing table um, to just use on the bed and things like that reason I got this one it was like on sale at Target for like six dollars because it does have a little strap so if I'm on the go and in a rush I can just grab this there's actually a pocket inside um, where I have a pack of wipes and three diapers um, so that at any given moment I can grab this out of the bag and just run and change him if I need to um, without having to grab this entire bag so I thought that that was definitely convenient so along with that I mentioned that I have three diapers in there um, but those three diapers I want to stay in that changing pad for in case an emergency um, so in the actual bag I do also have five diapers and can you believe how tiny these things are um, I just I can't I can't get over it so I am keeping five of these these are the Huggies um, snug and dry next I do have some um, diaper rash cream and I really want to get like a smaller size but I was gifted a few of these so um, you know I figured why not I'll just keep the full size um, this is Bordeaux's butt paste I've just heard amazing 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 things um, about it so it's the one that I decided to go with I am keeping just like an empty little plastic I'm sure you can kind of tell what material this is but it's like pretty plasticky um, bag inside here in case he has any like blowouts or any wet clothes or anything like that that I need to bring home that I don't want to soil the rest of the bag I am keeping another one of those with two washcloths an extra bib and a burp cloth um, all like just in case item so um, these are meant really to be extras and not to be the one that he's wearing you know the bib he's wearing um, things like that so that I know I mean newborns get dirty a lot um, and I know that so I want to be as prepared as possible and have all these extra little things they really don't take up a lot of room at all they're I mean they're tiny next this is another one of those hospital items um, so in here I have three sets of clothing for the hospital the only reason that I have three sets is because you really don't know what size they're gonna be um, so I am bringing three different sizes um, and then um, a hat socks and a little pair of mittens and this is like for his coming home outfit next I have a receiving blanket and a swaddle blanket both of these are gifted to me so I'll try to find them and link them down below but I don't know if I'll be able to um, but for obvious reasons you can use both of these for a multitude of different things I have my wipes um, and this is one of those like re um, refillable packs um, and they are Huggies wipes. I just make sure to get the fragrance free. Um, but aside from that, I'm not super picky about wipes, so I have that. And last but not least, I have my little first aid kit. So this has all your typical baby first aid, like thermometer, hairbrush, no clipper, all that fun stuff. And then I also went ahead and added um, a little body wash and a lotion for just in case you never know when you're going to need something like that where you're going to get stuck so on and so forth so went ahead and put that in there and oh I forgot this 
um, a sound machine. This might be the randomest thing in here, but um, I've heard from a lot of people that a sound machine is a great way to get um, your baby to just sleep peacefully and through the night. And if that's something that he becomes accustomed to, um, I want him to have that when we leave the house as well. Um, you know, because then it, it can just be hard for him to fall asleep if he's used to it at home, doesn't have it elsewhere. Um, and it's small and, you know, this I can clip to his car seat. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep it in the bag just in case. So, have that. And, yeah, that is everything that I have in my um, diaper bag slash hospital bag. If there is something that you feel like I am missing, please feel free to you know let me know down in the comments below um i really appreciate your feedback um please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye